shots of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained. Now we're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information. New audio has surfaced as part of a lawsuit that accuses Christian Holmes, Sean Diddy Combs' son of sexual assault. Deaths of a few people coming out of the home. Those people have been detained now. We're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information. New audio has surfaced as part of a lawsuit that accuses Christian Holmes, Shed Diddy Holmes, a son of sexual assault. Prepare yourselves, folks, for the juiciest celebrity drama yet 50 Cent, the rap icon, notorious for his beasts, is unleashing a whirlwind of chaos aimed straight at Diddy and his kin. But why, you ask, well, it all started when did son Christian Kinkums decided to take a swing at 50 Cent with a diss track hotter than a summer mixtape. But oh, did that backfire instead of shaking 50's throne? He just added fuel to the fire. 50 is not to be no don't 50 is not fifth. Y'all don't even fifth is fifth is play around. If you want a fifth is different. And he's on tour now. King's diss track pick aid isn't just any old rap verse. Oh, no, it's a direct hit at anyone daring to criticize the Tom's dynasty. But what caught 50 C's attention wasn't just the VARs. It was the audacity to take a jab at him amidst the legal storms brewing around both families. And you bet Fiddy isn't one to let it diss slide, especially not when it involves questioning his street crit. But hold on to your seats, because this feud isn't just about who's got the slickest rhymes. No, it's about to escalate into a full-blown war with allegations swirling around Diddy's empire and raids hitting close to home tensions are reaching a boiling point. And now with 50 Cent threatening to spill the tea in a documentary exposing Diddy's darkest secrets, it seems like the gloves are off. And no family member is safe from the foul out brace yourselves, folks, because in the world of celebrity feuds, this one's shaping up to be a real knockout. Personally, I've never met Diddy a day in my life. But when you do wrong, it comes back on you. So none of us should be surprised, first of all. Before we get into the Diddy family's conflict with 50 Cent, let's delve into the accusations against Diddy himself and how the attention turned to his son, Christian, the dark web of allegations surrounding scene Diddy sees paints a grim picture, one that seems to have influenced the behavior of his son, Christian, also known as King Commons. Recent lawsuits have piled up against the hip-hop mobile, with the most recent one filed by music producer Ronnie Lil Rod Jones accusing Combs of a slew of disturbing actions, including sexual assault. And this lawsuit is so long, it's so many like it's so many things that you know he's claiming did he did. JS alleges that Calm subjected him to repeated instances of unsolicited groping and sexual touching, even going as far as incapacitating him and forcing him into sexual encounters with sex workers who paints a chilling portrait of a toxic environment where abuse and manipulation ran rampant. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap industry. But the allegations don't stop there. Diddy's legal troubles have only intensified with each new claim, including those from his ex-girlfriend R. and B. singer Kasi, whose lawsuit alleged a pattern of violent behavior, substance abuse, and sexual coercion. While these claims have been vehemently denied by Combs and his legal team, the sheer volume of accusations raises serious questions about the culture within his inner circle. And now the spotlight has shifted to his son, Christian, who finds himself embroiled in a lawsuit of his own, Gracial Marai. The plaintiff alleges that King CMS assaulted her in 20,122, adding another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of allegations surrounding the Combs family audio. You can hear her asking Christian Combs if she was being dread. And he answers take the shot. It seems that like father, like son, as attorney Tyrone Blackburn aptly puts it, suggesting a disturbing pattern of behavior that spans generations. But amidst the legal turmoil, it's not just the courtrooms that are buzzing with activity. Federal raids on Diddy's properties in Miami and Los Angeles have sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry with reports of handcuffs and chaos abound just last week. 
federal agents raided two homes of rapper and music mogul Shapi Diddy Combs in Los Angeles, and Miami Combs is the subject of a federal investigation. The raid's part of an ongoing investigation into allegations of sexual harassment and misconduct have left these homes in disarray, with federal agents combing through documents and tearing apart computers in search of evidence. The surreal scenes captured on camera paint, a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour usually associated with a hip-hop mogul lifestyle as federal agents scar his properties for clues the true extent of Diddy's legal woes begins to unravel leaving many wondering what other secrets lie hidden behind closed doors reason why is because they gathered so much evidence what supposedly they gathered so many videos and laptops and also electronic devices. But just when we thought this saga couldn't get any juicier enter stage, left 50 Cent, the rap icon wasted no time in tearing into Diddy's son King Combs after the young rapper dropped a diss track aimed squarely at 50 in his ongoing feud with the Combs dynasty. King's scathing track appropriately titled Peak Aid, he takes direct aim at anyone daring to criticize his family including 50 Cent himself when all they had was 50 Cent to put the city on the map King spits before daring anyone to say no Diddy it's a bold move especially considering the backtop of legal turmoil surrounding both families but 50 Cent wasn't about to let this slide taking to Instagram he sarcastically commented I feel so threatened by the things Christian is saying on his record I'm afraid for my life Please don't hurt me guys, classic F sarcasm. But he didn't stop there, drawing attention to the allegations against King 50 Cent posted pictures of the alleged victim's injuries alongside damning captions. Dan King comes is that what you told Marquette on that boat gave her the puppy juice with that special sauce in it. Oh boy, oh. Boy bad boy for life, he wrote, adding fuel to fire of controversy. And the drama didn't end there. King's lyrics seemed to reference the federal raids on Diddy's properties, prompting 50 Cent to question the wisdom of such statements given the ongoing investigation. Now why would you say something like this when you know the feds are investigating? Are you stupid or are you dumb low? He quipped, but King Combs wasn't backing down either in a track that's quickly becoming the talk of the town. He misses the federal raids as a misguided pursuit, suggesting that 50 Cent is the real target with lyrical jabs connecting 50 to his queen's hometown and even Eminem King's track is a bold statement in the face of mounting scrutiny as the war of words escalates between these two titans of hip-hop. One thing's for sure the stakes have never been higher with legal battles, federal investigations, and now a full-blown rap feud in the mix it seems like there's never a dull moment in the world of celebrity drama, but amidst the smoke and mirrors of this escalating feud it appears that 50 Cent isn't content with merely battling Diddy's cage reports, suggests that the rap mobile turn documentary filmmaker is gearing up to delve deeper into the Combs Dynasty's closeted skeletons. Yes, you heard it right, not content with just shining a light on Did's alleged misdeeds, 50 Cent is rumored to be extending his investigative lens to include Diddy sons, including Christian King Combs in his upcoming documentary revolt. Go back to that 50 cent post, cause I'm going to tell you why 50 is literally is a diabolical genius the project ominously titled Tidy. Do it promises to be a no holds barred expose on the alleged sexual misconduct swirling around the bad boy records in its stereo. And with 50 Cent's penchant for controversy and candid commentary, this documentary is shaping up to be a seismic event in the world of hip-hop. But what do we know about this highly anticipated film details are scarce but snippets of information have been trickling out igniting anticipation among fans and foes alike in a recent Instagram snippet 50 Cent teased viewers with a taste of what's to come featuring for former Bad Boy Records rapper Mark Curry leveling shocking accusations against Gums is he controlling yes he is will he put his hands on the female yes he will would he put his hands on a male producer or anything yes he will Curry alleged that Diddy would spike sparkling grape juice bottles at his parties leaving unsuspecting women vulnerable to his advances. 
After a while, they're all opening up their mouths, like little birds, Curry chillingly remarked. But it's not just Curry's testimony that's causing a stir. 50 Cent has vowed to donate all proceeds from the documentary to sexual assault victims, adding a layer of moral gravity to an already explosive project with the rapper producer's history of philanthropy and social activism. This move amplifies the significance of Diddy Do It Beyond Mere Entertainment, however, amidst the buzz surrounding the documentary questions linger. When will it be released? Which network or platform will host its premiere? And perhaps most tantalizingly, what secrets will it unearth about the Ken's family, especially in light of Christian King Hans' recent distract? aimed squarely at 50 Cent. Lastly, for those curious about the genesis of 50 Cent's vendetta against the Diddy family, the roots of this feud stretch far beyond the recent diss track debacle. It all goes back to a pivotal moment in hip-hop history when Diddy then right in the crest of his bad boy records empire made a decision that would come back to haunt him. As revealed by Tony Yo in a recent interview, 50 Cent once sought refuge under the bad boy banner, but did he perhaps blinded by his own success? Or